Hello and welcome to a Key Smash Studios video. Today we're going to be talking about sprite masks in a 2D plane in Unity. What this is going to allow us to do is create an interaction like this, where a sprite mask can go over an object to make it disappear or make another object appear. As always, if you find this to be helpful, please consider subscribing as we continue our march towards a thousand subscribers. Your support would help us a lot. So there's three parts to this interaction working. Obviously, we have the sprite mask, the ring sprite, and then the present sprite. And the three of those work without much interaction from us. We can set this up pretty easily. And then, you know, if, if we want to attach it to a mechanic with a, with a script, we can do that just any way we normally would with a, with a game object attached to the sprite. If you want to make it follow a mouse or something like that to create a mechanic in your game, by all means do so. But for right now, I'm just going to talk about how to get this interaction to work with the sprite mask. So there's three parts to it. Obviously, we have the ring in the present, and I'll go over those in a second, and we have the sprite mask. So the sprite mask, so the sprite mask is just a 2D object here. You could right click 2D object sprite mask, or you can come up here to game object 2D object sprite mask. Once you're inside that sprite mask, you just select a sprite shape. So I've used one of the standard circles. Uh, you can use whatever you want. It just follows that that image. Once you've done that, you can change any of these settings. You don't really have to, though. Uh, the only thing that we really need to change is on our sprites that are in the, the background that we're going to be interacting with. So, for example, uh, on our present, we want the present when we move the sprite mask left and right. We want this present, this sprite, to be not visible when the sprite mask is over it. And we want the ring to be visible when the sprite mask is over it, but not the present. So the present, come down here to mask interaction, and normally this is set to none on the default sprite renderer. So you just come down here and you say it's visible outside of the mask only. So when the sprite is outside of this circle, it's visible. When it's inside the circle, it's not visible. And vice versa, when we get to this ring that's on the inside, we come down here to mask interaction and swap this to visible inside the mask only. And that's really all you have to do to create a sprite mask in Unity. It's pretty simple. You can attach this to your mouse, create a cool flashlight mechanic maybe on a 2D game, something like that. If you have any questions, please let us know down below. If you haven't already, check out some of the links in our description from our game on the App Store, to our Twitch channel. All those things can really help support us. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out, and we'll see you next week.